Hi everyone, my name's Chris and I work for the Duke of Edinburgh's Award. This video is all about the Duke of Edinburgh's Award, or D of E, and how you can get involved. The D of E is the world's leading youth achievement award. It's about challenging yourself, having fun and developing things like teamwork, confidence and problem solving that will help you stand out in your education and your future career. The D of E is open to anyone. Whatever your starting point, I promise you it will be an adventure. The D of E has already helped millions of young people to shine. Now it's your turn. So let's hear a bit more from someone who's already done it. Hey, I'm Elle, and you lot sat there are basically me a couple of years ago. I've just finished my goals, but when I first started my bronze, I had no idea what to expect. Back then, I didn't know how it all worked, but I reckon I could do a good job of telling you now. So here it goes. So for your bronze award, you have to choose an activity for each of the four sections. Physical, skills, volunteering, and then your expedition. You might already be doing an activity that counts, or you can choose to try something new. For my physical, I chose to improve my rowing, but you can choose from a whole load of other activities like these guys. I play rugby. We play badminton. I played football. Anyway, then you get to volunteer. There's so many ways you can make a difference here, and you'll get to meet some incredible people. <laughs> And then for my skill, I joined my school's debating club. You can pretty much do any skill you want, if your leader approves. My mates ended up doing all sorts, like... Acting. Learning Latin. Singing. And you get to do a really fun two-day expedition, exploring some amazing scenery like this. As Elle says, to achieve your bronze award, you'll need to complete four sections. And we'll look at them in depth now. Volunteering, physical and skills, and an expedition. But you decide how and when you do them. One of the best things about doing a D of E is that you create your own unique program by choosing which activities you do. Most activities count towards your D of E, and there are loads of things that you can do from home. You may already be doing activities that would count towards your sections, or you could use your D of E as an opportunity to try something new. For volunteering, physical and skills, choose one section to do for six months and you'll do the other two sections for three months. It's up to you which section you do for longer. Why not choose one you think you'll enjoy most? You'll need to do your chosen activities for an hour each week during that time. Don't forget, you can start all three sections at the same time if you want to. For each of your sections, you'll set goals for what you want to achieve and you'll ask someone to be your assessor. You'll show them evidence of your progress and ask them to write a report at the end. Let's look at each of these sections in a bit more detail. The volunteering section is your opportunity to make a difference. Maybe you're interested in animals or tackling climate change. Or maybe you want to raise money for a cause that means a lot to you. From coaching a local football team or collecting for a food bank to starting a campaign, for your volunteering section, you'll give up your time to help others and change things for the better. Volunteering is extremely rewarding, grows your confidence and independence, and can give you a chance to experience the world of work too. You can choose from lots of different activities for your volunteering section, including many that you can do remotely or from home. Volunteering remotely is just as meaningful as volunteering in person. For example, you could spend your time raising awareness about a particular cause or fundraising for a charity. You could phone your elderly neighbour for a chat once a week, or you could contribute to people-powered research projects, like counting penguins on time-lapse cameras in remote regions to understand their lives and environment. Let's look at the physical section. This is about getting fitter and healthier. You could try something completely different or concentrate on something you already do, as long as it improves your health and fitness and gets you physically active. From yoga to going to the gym, skateboarding to wheelchair tennis, almost any dance, sport or fitness activity can count. And doing more physical activity can give your mental health a great boost too. Again, there are loads of different activities you can choose from for this section. 
including many you can do at home. If you're doing an activity at home, you can use fitness apps to track your progress and use as evidence for your section. You can decide to join a team, attend a class or exercise on your own. It's up to you. The skills section is all about getting better at something you're really interested in, giving you the confidence and ability to use it both now and in later life. You can discover something new or improve at something you're already doing. If you're interested in something specific, this could be the perfect chance to get involved. For example, if you're passionate about photography, you could use it as your skill and showcase what you've learned along with your portfolio of work in future applications or interviews. By learning a skill, you'll grow your confidence and show you're committed, motivated and can rise to a challenge. There are a whole range of activities to choose from for the skills section, from cooking to learning a language or an instrument. So use your imagination. Lots of skills are available through online courses and are completely free. For your expedition section, you'll spend two days and one night away from home. As part of a small team of between four and seven people, you'll plan your aim and your route and do some training to make sure you're prepared and know what you're doing. Lots of expeditions are on foot, but they don't have to be. Expeditions can be done by bike, canoe, kayak, wheelchair, sailing boat, or even on horseback. Your expedition will improve your resilience, communication, teamwork, and leadership skills. But most importantly, it'll be fun. You'll come home with a rucksack full of washing and an experience you won't forget. The COVID-19 outbreak won't stop you from having a full DOV experience. In fact, the DOV can help you navigate your new normal, expand your world, and give you skills and experiences that can open doors in the future. It will help you develop resilience and support your mental and physical well-being. You get to choose your own activities, so you can pick ones that are easy to do safely while social distancing or from home. There are loads of options to choose from, and doing activities remotely or from home will give you all the same benefits. There are flexible ways to run expeditions too, so when it's safe to do so and government guidelines allow, you can do yours with all the benefits and memories you'd get at any other time. And anyone who starts their DOV this academic year and goes on to complete their volunteering, physical and skills section will receive a DOV Certificate of Achievement. This recognises your amazing efforts and achievements, even if social distancing, personal circumstances or other challenges means it's not possible to do an expedition just yet. You can use your Certificate of Achievement to show that you're committed as you're persevering with your activities during a difficult time. When you sign up to do your DOV, you'll get your own account on our online system, eDOV. This is where you can create your own DOV programme, upload evidence of the activities you've been doing and record your progress. Your assessor reports will be added here to show you've completed your sections. You can use eDOV on a desktop or laptop computer or on your smartphone using the DOV app. So why do your DOV? There are loads of reasons to get involved, including taking the time to invest in your own physical and mental health, as well as developing a whole range of transferable skills that future employers will want to see, such as confidence and resilience. And you'll make new friends and have a lot of fun too. Doing a DOV programme is a massive opportunity and it's a route to develop and grow. It's a unique journey. Everyone gets something different out of it. Brilliant skills that help in the future, in life and in work. I decided to do DAV because I wanted to learn more independence. It pushes me to do things like motivates me to do more things to, for me to get more involved in activities. And I heard that it was like good on the CV, so I wanted to make sure I got like the best thing possible for like my future years. It helped me overcome the challenges of just being quite shy. It's just a once in a lifetime opportunity for me. When you come from a disadvantaged background, a lot of things seem out of your reach. And this is such an important thing to have access to, to prepare you for life. I'm a technology consultant now, and I couldn't have done it without the DOV. It's something that you'll never forget. It's definitely changed my life for the better.
What happens next? Have a think about the activities you might want to do for your different sections. If you're interested in starting your DOV, speak to your DOV manager or leader about how to sign up. This is your opportunity. Go for it. Thanks for listening and good luck with your DOV.